Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev, and this is Deep Sky Derelict Station Life, their new DLC. And in the last episode, we didn't quite get far enough, and I had a little jumping ahead and dancing around here to do so I could show you guys the secondary system of the RPG elements, which is the crafting, and then. You get to choose your specialization. So basically, it is a whole new um, upgrade system for yourself. And as you go through, it unlocks certain things. We've got the chemist, right? And you go through combat, stimulant, resistant, stronger, heavy haze, symbiosis, demolition, running for explosions, volatile materials. See, now I almost would pick this, but I've already got a bunch of these uh cards that i want so ooh, not that though hmm. well, maybe we will pick this one obliterator oh wow then we got functionaire sabotage <sighs> energy channel function maximizer all kinds of good stuff master of robots now i already have this one and this is the reason the sentry turret and I uh, think I have a taunt little bot that I can use as well. So it works real well. This one also um, buffs the cards. So your minions are better. Damage and, and their resistance. So the taunt and the other cards I have work great. Psyker. Mental Assault. And this isn't something I haven't really played a lot, uh, around a lot with. Just... Because I've always found with these mental elements with this game, it's kind of hit and miss. So, you know, I'm not always sure exactly what's going on and versus the other types, they're pretty straightforward. So, Quartermaster, Rearm, Conserve Supply. Shield Expert, and this is another one that I have. Shield amplifier, seven maximum shields, efficient recharging, strategist. Kind of seems like it's a um, little bit on the mind stuff again. Protect me. Yeah. I don't know. Strategist probably, I guess, would go good with the leader. I don't know. Surgeon, you probably put that with the medic. But I don't use either one of those characters. So, and then Tinkler, Lout Drone. Jeez. Let's see. I think we're going to go with Demolition with this guy. There we go. Now we got two points. And let's see. The next point. Five damage. And then six damage. So it's kind of a slow starter. What about yearning for explosions? For chance to draw an extra card if there are no explosions in the hand. Eh. Agile. Got our evasion. Trained focus. Eh, you know what? We'll just do my guess both right there. Okay. And then, now, we've got a guy that has the shield. So, self and ally, 7 to maximum shield. Okay, so we're at 32 with this dude. Let's see what that does. 36. Well, you know, better than nothing. That could be the difference between life and death. And then, uh, we've got two for her. And I've already got the sentry bots. Fully upgraded. Ooh, there we go. We'll put it in there, right there. Minions receive 9% crit damage, uh, chance 75, or in 6 and 50. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So that's one part of the stuff that I wanted to show you. Now, the second part, you're going to want to have to wait till you have a lot more cash on hand, or you can start doing it as possible. First thing you need to be able to do is either have in your inventory or buy... 
um, the weapons and uh, toolkits that your characters have, right? So we want to be able to buy those. Then you come over here to research. You go into crafting and you can see how some of these are highlighted and some of them are not. I don't got any medical guys. I'm not using a uh, dude with a po power glove, mental, none of that stuff. But I am using uh, assault ranged weapons. Oh, anyway, so when you bring one of those tools over, like so, say if I had one of those in my inventory, I would just unlock it here. You disassemble so you lose it, but it then un, uh, it opens up uh, the three different types. So the center core and then the other two, which is nice, which is nice. It could have done it a lot of different ways. So we've got 11 to 13. See down here at crafting is 404. So there's some RNG. All right. So we got 12 damage, which is pretty good for that. That was 13. We got 11 and 11. All right. Well, maybe we can get something with those two. 12 damage. So we got one better. Ripping strike. Okay. Now if I wanted to enable rerolls. Uh, just one item to gain two re-rolls. But I want to use that. Single strike and ripping strike. 11 versus 12. Now it's only got two, but I've got a flurry slash, electric strike, and you can see down below here I got a crap ton. So we've got the crafting, the secondaries, to show you guys how the... Uh, RPG element, they've really expanded here in the DLC. Now, something from the a previous DLC, thought we'd finish here, is we're going to go land on a planet. Her, uh, protects the crew against hazardous conditions for 10 moves. This is what you're going to need, hazard protection. Up oh, here we go. Incinerate, incinerate. Six one five zero, huh? Uh, let's try it. I don't know. That didn't really make any sense. So search for a place to use the blarp command, huh? Oh, right. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. Okay, last time I fought these guys, it was pretty brutal. Can you see this, dude? Whew. 174. Oh, good. I can show you guys the taunt, uh, the bots here. There we go. I got both my turrets out. Got everybody going. What we got? What we got? Oh, crap. Last time this happened, I couldn't do anything. It just, yeah, it just started doing, yeah, just did. Nope. Didn't let me do anything. Okay, my, my, yeah, and then those will be screwed. Luckily, he can't throw that fear crap very much. All right, let's set him on fire. So, yeah, seventh, seven, seven damage. Wow, nine damage. Okay. That guy makes me nervous. Oh, well. Okay. Wide blasting. Okay. Guess I'm... Oh, no. Alright, taunt guy. Now he should make noise. 
There we go. So now they should go after him at least for one round. Or not. Get it. Nice. Yeah, let's throw out this trap here just in case. So plus six to the initiative. Jeez. He has counterattacks and 25%. Um, all right. Resist done. That's not fair. So there's a lot of different fun cards here. So we've got um, reflections. Negates all the damage from an attack. We'll do that. Negative one armor, and then we have shockwave. Let's do that. Shockwave. Nah, did nothing. Alright, what are you gonna do? Oh, we did enough to knock him away for once here. Okay. Trying to keep it, keep it, uh, yeah, keep that fire burning on him. Oh, cool. I, th I think I did. Good. All, right, all right, I'll throw another trap down on the traps you just put out there. So if he tries to attack me at all, um, he should get stunned. But he has to actually jump at me for that. Alright, so... Now we got nine each time coming at him. Good. Counterattack was great. Go. So, again, if he comes at us, he's got about 15 different things that are going to light him up if he comes at us now. All right, dude, come on, do something. Oh, no, he's still just not going to. All right. So, we can, you know what, let's overload him. That way, again, it uh, takes away what he can use. There you go, cool. He still didn't get a strike at us. We still have gone. Oh, look at all this. Oh, I, I forgot that uh, stupid razor net actually holds him in place so he can't do anything. Which is what you want to use on a melee character. That's cool. We kill him, we kill him. The other really good one to use is this. Let's prepare. Now he's got counterattacks.
Only thing I can think of is a high armor rating. Why uh, the turret's not working against him. Huh. And the shot. Oh, that's right. Everything hits him at once. And the smoke trap. <laughs> and the shock trap again. Oh, and he kicks the crap. Oh, he tried to. Trying to get a little bit of health back here. But I'm not getting anything good, man. Let's right, see what he does this time. Oh, he died. That's what he did. Uh, let's see. Enhanced movement. Nah, can't use that. Level 4 shield core mod. Shield restoring abilities. 20 more effective. Oh, okay. All right, folks. I am back. Uh, sorry about some of that weird editing you saw there. Um, I had to kind of move things forward, so I just put some of the combat in, cut some other stuff out, because I've been doing this for over an hour, because, again, this game, man, this would probably be a great game to stream. And if you stick around to the end of video, you're going to find out that I'm going to start streaming again. That's right. Indie Contact is coming back. We're going to have us some fun. Of course, with the end of the year, please let me know down in the comments if you made it to the end. I've never played Destiny, the first or the second. But I have it downloaded on my computer and I thought we could play Destiny 2. Uh, it looks like I have a cut, you know... A bunch of stuff's already unlocked. It's free to play. And since I haven't had a console since the previous generation, I figured, you know what, guys? Maybe that's something we could all do together. But it's up to you guys if you want to join me. If you want to be maybe on a team as I go against some of the higher stuff, let me know in the comments. As always, the Rev plays on Steam. If you want to try and contact me through that, would be also a good way to do it. If you guys, like I said, I don't know how we'd work the timing out. That's always the problem with trying to do something with other people. Uh, doing in kind of a collab is timing, and I work a full-time job now, so it's real hard. So you'd have to be like free on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Uh, so anyways... I think we are sitting pretty good here. As always, if you guys want more of this, smash that like button. Start talking in the comments. All that good stuff. If not, well, maybe Destiny 2 will be the next new game you guys see come rolling out here. Since we are almost done with the Outer Worlds. So please, keep your heads down. Your ships and your Cruise of Doom up, and I shall see you again real damn soon.